Well, hey, all you cool snakes and geckos. <laughs> Sorry, I rewatched Tiger King and I just, I have that on my mind now. <laughs> now, if there's two things I definitely learned about that, it's number one, man, do I need a tiger or a lion? Joe, if you get out of jail, hit me up. Uh, also, Doc, man, also, also, hey, Doc, I, I got the cheddar. If you got, if you got the cubs, you know, don't, don't cremate them. So Carol definitely killed her husband. Oh, Jeff Lowe was a snitch and a rat, I'm just saying. Oh man, I'm gonna get sued by one of them. I just know it. This video is gonna be copy strike and I'm gonna get a letter in the mail. <laughs> What's up guys? Today we have a very special unboxing that I'm super stoked for and that is for two reasons. Number one, it has been delayed for a long time. I believe it's been delayed two weeks. Uh, the guy that I got the gecko from, uh, oddly enough, has colder weather than over here in New England and it was like below 30 so I couldn't get him which was very disappointing. Now, number two, this is gonna be a great breeder for what we got coming up. I got some exciting stuff and I'm definitely excited for this gecko. If only we had him because uh, FedEx, man, it's around three o'clock now. I got three, I got watch, man. You know I'm rich. I'm rich from YouTube because I got a cool watch. <laughs> Number one, my Toke geckos. I know everyone's been asking me about Toke babies. I get messages probably daily about Toke babies. I don't have any. Uh, as you guys know, I had a well, what some would call a uh, mental breakdown at the beginning of 2021. That was clearly devastating and almost ruined my uh, Entire life. If you didn't know about that, those videos are privated now. I learned you gotta get rid of, gotta, gotta get rid of the evidence. Only the people that saw it know just how messed up in the head I am. Due to that, I did not pair my tokes into pretty late into the year. I usually pair them somewhere around November, December, but I didn't pair them until like February-ish. Actually, sometime later, there's a couple videos um, about that. So with that being said, I don't have any babies. I don't have, I sold everything from 2020. 2020 was a really bad year for tokes because everything was growing out and now everything's paired later. So so we got like some eggs going on right now, but we don't have much. So um, I don't know. Maybe stop talking. Stop stop messaging me about them. I don't I don't have any. I'm so sorry. Sneak peek though, we do have some imports coming in that will be for sale along with like 25 other stuff that's coming next week. Watch out for that video. That is gonna be an insane unboxing. Okay, so no toke geckos, but what we do have is crested geckos, man. I'm so happy about my crested gecko slash gargoyle gecko project, which is behind me, which is why I'm looking behind me. Uh, they've been doing great. Again, paired later in the year, so we don't have as many eggs as I like, but the production is going great. Um, the fertility is finally going up. For those of you guys that don't know, I did not have like any crested geckos in 2020 because I had them in dirt substrate and what was happening is superworms would get in there They'd make babies and the babies would actually eat my eggs making them infertile which really sucked But I figured that out I put them in sterile bins with a lay box and now I get eggs. It's incredible I actually feel like I'm a successful breeder instead of feeling like I'm a complete failure all the time Also, I renamed pebbles to chungas because Jesus Christ just look at this thing. Let's get a my god, this is a massive gecko. I think she's like up to 70 grams or something. I don't know why she's so big. I feed them all the same. It's not like she's like getting into different resources and that's why Chungas is so big. I don't know, man. It's just a really fat gecko. I'm gonna put her on some sort of a diet because look at these rolls. Dun -na, dun -na. Also, last thing to note, something that really weird is happening is the fact that Xena keeps breaking out of her enclosure and going into Pebble's enclosure. They're both girls. This has happened twice now where somehow, I don't know how she's getting out. Everything is secured, but somehow she keeps getting out of her bin and then she goes in the get to Xena or Pebble. And she goes into Pebbles' bin or Chunga's and they just chill together. It's happened twice now. I don't know what's going on. Crested geckos, man. Well, that's all the stuff I had. I guess we just wait for the package to come now.
Where's the package, Archie? Have you seen the gecko that's coming today? Do you know where the gecko is? I don't know. Oh my god. Archie, do you know where the gecko is? Where is it? That's a cool chicken you have. Oh my god! <laughs> Hey, it finally came. We can finally do this unboxing. Let's get into it. Well, just well, hang on a minute. It's it's taped. Well, we can't do this with ah! these weak, soft ah! hands. These can't open the boxes. We're gonna need some help, which will bring us to the Baggins blade. I don't know if I can find that uh, sound asset in post, so I figured I'd do it in, in the video. <laughs> All right, I'm sure, so two questions you guys are asking yourself is number one, Dakota, what drug are you on? I'm not, I'm, I'm just trying to make the video funny. Uh, number two is, Dakota, what's in the box? You didn't tell us what's in the box, Dakota. Well, I'm about to show you as soon as I open the box because this is actually one of the easier tape jobs. You only did four. Where the fuck do I put this machete in this room? <laughs> Here we go, we're getting in. Ooh. Black styrofoam, very fancy. I personally go with the white finish, but hey man, you do you. Got some crumpled up paper here. Where are you? Where are you, you little, little fucker? Oh, there was no uh, no heat pack. It's a bit weird, it's a little, a little chilly. He is a little cold, but oh my God, he's freaking huge jesus i didn't expect her to be this big and she's also in like she's actually shedding right now <laughs> can we just appreciate the size of the head on this thing jesus christ look at this okay let's let's take her out one you are freezing why did you not have a heat pack that was not a wise choice from the seller who i paid for oh my god you are just entangled in <laughs> Let me help you out, honey. You're like blind. Where's this coming from? Your leg? Yeah, it's like entangled. Oh my god. You check this out. So this is another gargoyle gecko. I love the face mask. That is, um... That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, so the cool thing about this one, I know everyone like really enjoys the reds and I have a red in my projects, but this is a completely... Stop moving, stop moving. It's a completely yellow striped gecko, so it's pretty golden. We got these, these nice yellows, a hint of orange and brown down the back. It's all in all just a really gorgeous animal. Pretty excited to put her in my project. I mean, she is really stunning. I mean, she really stands out. That's the whole, I saw her on Facebook or on uh, Morph Market and I was like, oh my God, you really stand out. And now she really stands out because she's just covered in shit. Here, let me get your mask off. Let me, Eat. oh my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, it's in your mouth. Oh, you're eating it. Okay, well, have at it. New, <laughs> new carcoil gecko. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Well, that's the show, folks. Um, I'm gonna get this shedding gecko into her setup. I'll give her some humidity so because she looks like she's still got some on her feet and stuff and I won't I probably won't have to feed her because she's just eating her entire shed as always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you did not have your fill of gecko unboxing goodness, I got a playlist that I'll put right here. We got some awesome content right there and then something else that I'm not sure, but I'm sure you should probably click on it. Don't jump, young lady. That's going to wrap it up for today. We will see you next time.